Sue here again and I think it's the 11th of October today. No, I think it's the 12th of October today, 2021. Anyway, so I hope you're all well and doing well. So I haven't done a video for a little while. I think I'm really behind with my videos. I keep putting up ones that are quite old. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Let's just carry on. So today's mission in the Apollo Tunnel is to clear it up. Um, yeah, I need to take some stuff out. I want to show you the produce that I've got from the polytunnel. And um, I was watching a little video yesterday, an American guy, and um, he said about using neem oil and castile soap on your brassicas. So I'm going to do that because, um, and also that earth stuff, the diagnosis earth stuff that I use, um, to for and that's good for beetles and stuff things with hard skins earwigs beetles um, anything with a hard shell is what that's good for so I've sprinkled I've planted my salad crops that I had on the side table here and I've planted them into the polytunnel and I've put bone meal in as I said I was going to do when I planted some more plants I was going to actually add bone meal to everything that I plant from now on which I've done and I've actually sprinkled around the top with the earth stuff but you're supposed to do it when they're... I watered it after I'd done that so now really I need to go and get some more and sprinkle it around again because it's supposed to be dry um, but also on these plants I've just put in the polytunnel I'm going to actually put in some bedding so I'm going to actually put in some of my animal bedding round the top because I have noticed outside in the um, <clears throat> in the book in the beds I've done that the bedding seems to be preventing a lot of the slugs so they don't seem to like crawling over it so hopefully that might be a deterrent um, I also have like um, it's like really fine straw bedding that I use for the animals and also straw. So anyway, I'm going to show you what I'm going to get up to today in the polytunnel. Warm today. And I'm going to show you um, my little hemp oil and my Castile soap. Now luckily I have both of those. So I'm going to um, be using the hemp oil to spray on the um, brassicas, which I'm going to put in one of the beds over here. Yeah, so... Um, yes, I'm going to be taking out the aubergines, I'm sad to say, because uh, I, I was watching a video yesterday, and next year I'll be doing things a bit differently. Uh, the aubergines are supposed to just have two, two stalks or three stalks, and then, um, yeah, so I should have taken out side shoots and all sorts, and the same with tomatoes I've been looking up. So next year I'll make sure that I follow some kind of protocol instead of just letting them do what they like. And also to make sure that they get pollinated, you have to shake them or something. Um, so I think it's too late for them now. But I do have these um, aubergines in these bags and a couple of pots. So I'll leave those ones in there. Um, but I will have to take the ones out of bed and also the peppers... Um, yeah, they didn't they didn't do very well, so I don't think they pollinated properly either. So next year I'll be making sure that I shake things to pollinate them properly. Um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So because apparently they need a bit of wind, and they self fertilise aubergines. But the um, so if you just shake them, one part of the pollen falls on the other bit. So the male pollen is above the female pollen the stamen and um, if you shake them it makes the pollen fall onto the female thing apparently anyway so I've been watching videos about this stuff trying to figure out what why things are going wrong and why things aren't working properly but I just want to show you the polytunnel today it's looking very different to what it was looking like I've still got some beans I've just noticed there's some beans just grown and I've still got flowers on my beans so I'm really happy about that I might leave the beans but I'm going to be taking out the cucumber plants today because I've harvested all the cucumbers now. Um, and I'm going to take out the red cabbage today also. And I'm going to quickly show you outside where we've... Um, oh, my melon, the progress of my melon. I've got another melon growing on another melon plant. 
Um, so I might need to um, like help the mill and stay up. I'm not sure what to do there. Anyway, let's get on. So here's the melon. Look how big it's got. And we've got another melon coming on this one as well. So these two melons seem to be doing all right. And what I might do is tie a string around the melon um, and tie it up to the pole just to make sure that it doesn't get too heavy and fall off. Because uh, while the weather's nice, because it has been really, really warm in the polytunnel and the weather outside has been really, really warm. So... Yeah, so that's what we're going to do. So today's mission is to clear out this bed. Right, so we're going to take out all these red cabbages because they're, they're not going to grow any bigger. I've got a new red cabbage back here, but look, if you see, there's holes coming in them leaves. So these are the ones I'm going to spray with my um, hemp spray oil. And also I'm going to... Um, see, I put that hay round after these leaves got nibbled and I have noticed that they, the the, um, the slugs don't really like the hay so I'm gonna what's that back there I can't see what that is there's something back there what's that I have to go and have an investigation anyway so I don't want to put the red cabbage in here because I've already had red cabbage in this bed <clears throat> I'm gonna put them in a different bed but here are the salads that I put in this morning. Right, so I put all the salad in here that I had growing. And I've put in a handful of, um, like, the, the bone meal stuff, like I said I was going to do when I started planting stuff. And also I did put some of that earth stuff round round each plant, um, which I should have done before I watered it. No, after I watered it, but still, never mind. I'll go and get some more and sprinkle some more around. So we're going to be clearing these cucumber plants out today. And some of my sweet peas are nearly all done and the tomatoes are done. Um, so I'm going to take the, some of the tomato plants out. Uh, there's green tomatoes. So what I was going to do... So it's start getting really cold in the evenings now, so I'm not sure if these tomatoes will ripen. I don't want to lose them, so I might just take them indoors and see if they're ripening indoors. If not, I'll make some chutney out of them. Saying that, these ones have ripened here, but they're so few and far between now, it's not worth the bother of worrying about anymore. Uh, these are all going over here. Um, yeah, and what didn't work was, wait a minute, my strawberry plant's down here getting big these spicilis are still on the on these plants i haven't taken them off yet um yeah i'm letting them ripen i will do those next week probably but over here you can see that yeah i don't think these tomato plants are going to survive uh, definitely not these ones these are looking really bad now um, I can't see any tomatoes up here. The only tomatoes I can see are the ones down there, which there only seem to be two of. So I'm going to be taking all them out today. See, these are the aubergines. So what I've done here is taken all the lower leaves off and just left two stalks. It's said to take the leaves off that are facing inwards. And any shit, uh, what are they called? Uh, runners or not runners um, oh suckers that's the word and here again I've done the same thing um, I'm gonna do it to you know, I haven't done it to the other one yet there so and then I will do it to these two here there's two more in this pot but I'm gonna be taking out all of these here so I'm gonna take out all these aubergines because they're not gonna come to anything now it's too late um, and then I'm going to take out, you know, you know, we've got a couple of tiny peppers, but I'm going to take out all these. So next year, I'll make sure I shake all these plants to make sure they're pollinated and make sure they've got, really got some handfuls of blood fish and bone meal and some nice compost. And I will go around every single plant with some mulch. Um, these tomatoes here, I'm not sure what's happening here. I'll probably leave these today. Oh yeah, and I did notice on some of the tomatoes, they're starting to die off. Um, I think they've got hit by the frost. 
I don't know if we've had any frost, but it's getting really cold in the evenings in the polytunnel. But see all these tomatoes, I think what I'm going to do is just pick them all. And if they don't ripen, I will just make a green tomato chutney. And there's a few tomatoes up here, but I don't want to lose them. So I'm just going to pick them all off. Um, yeah, we've still got beans. Sorry I'm swinging the camera around. So we've still got some beans here. And we've still got flowers on these. Oh, yeah, I'll show you. Yeah, we've still got some flowers on these um, bean plants. Look, we've still got flowers. So I'll leave these. I'm not going to pull out the beans today. They don't take up any room whatsoever. But I want to take out these tomato plants. I'm going to take them all out. I cut all them tomato plants down. I just hate the thought of throwing them away. Oh, they'd probably die, won't they? But I've just cut them all down. I'm probably going to have to throw them on the compost bin. I couldn't, I couldn't do it. <laughs> so I've just left them like that for a minute and then I will... They will die by the frost. I know the frost are getting them eventually. And these won't come to nothing now. Uh, yeah, they're all... Nah, they're not going to come to nothing. I took off all the peppers off of these the other day. And they're in my freezer. They're only tiny. They're really, really small. So next year I'll make sure that... Um, I look up what you do with peppers. Have you got to take side shoots out of peppers? I don't know. But I will look it up and... Make sure I try and grow things properly. Maybe grow them, yeah, whatever. And I'm going to be growing more things outside next year. Some more tears of here are on the way. <laughs> anyway, so that's what I've done this morning. So we're going to do this bed first, I think. Because I need to... Oh yeah, I was going to... No, we're not going to do that bed first. We need to get the cabbages in. So we're going to do this bed first. I know it looks all green and lush, but there's nothing being produced here. It's pointless, so it's got to go now. And I've got to put in my red cabbages, which are up there. And then I've got to protect them. because, And I've still got some broccoli there. So I need to get that in. So we'll see how far we get today. So what I'll do is I'll just... Um, I don't know whether to film it. I don't know if I've got enough space. Um, yeah, I'll just pull out these plants and I'll, and I'll let you see the bed afterwards before I put the cabbage in and then I'll let you... S I might film me putting the cabbage in. Okay, so I'll see you in a minute. So I've taken these few peppers, look at that one, off of the... one of These came off of one pepper plant. So these are chilies. So I'm just going to put them straight in the freezer. And I have some cucumbers here that I picked yesterday. I'll just get them in here. So these are the rest of my cucumbers, which I'm actually going to make. I'm going to pickle them, or I might make a chutney out of them. I'm not sure yet. I'll have a look in my book to see if there's a chutney. If not, I will pickle them. So there's six cucumbers there. So I've picked up all the cucumber so at the moment we have chilies and I did harvest a lot of my potatoes outside yesterday and I had loads so I'm really happy with the potatoes and they were just from shop bought potatoes um, yeah and, and the next lot of potatoes I think are the actual seed potatoes that I bought but um, yeah I did get lots so I'm really happy I will show you them so I'll just show you the bed I just did. It didn't take me five minutes just to pull the plants out. That's the thing with these no-dig beds. You don't have to. You don't have to. Um, you know, you don't have to dig. So anyway, I'm going to leave the couple of the basil there at the moment. They will die off in when there's a frost. They will. And then I've got my. I need to just wash down the back of the plastic there. I'm going to do that before I put in the cabbages. So I'm just going to wash that down because it looks a bit dirty. So I'll do that next. And I need to go and get my kneeling cushions. I did plant, I noticed, the aubergines on the 22nd of the 3rd. So that's when I sowed them. So next year I'm going to make sure I sow them at the beginning of March. So they've got a longer time 
to germinate in it. There was nothing wrong with the germination. I'd, you know, I was reading that you need to have constant heat for aubergines. But I never had any trouble actually germinating them and growing the plants. The only trouble I had was um, not having them turning into aubergines. But I didn't know that you ha they have to be in the sort of wind. So next year we'll test this theory and shake them um, several times. And I think you do the same for tomato plants as well. Um, and if anybody else has got any idea, that's my chicken how i how i would uh make sure i get aubergines next year uh please let me know because the plants are really really healthy it seems a shame to throw them away and put them in the compost bin but um there's no point in having them because they're not going to do nothing now it's way too late and i do have these aubergine plants here still so i will do like taking off the leaves and making sure uh, there's only two stalks, so I will test it out on these until they die off, but they're not in the way or anything, so I will just keep those aubergines there. Um, so the next plan is to put the red cabbage in here after I've washed down the back. So I'll be back in a minute and I'll let you, s um, I'll film that bit, okay? Right, so it's really warm in the pine tunnel today. So, I've cleared this bed out here, and I've washed down the wall here on the plastic, because um, I notice it's getting quite dirty, and we did put this up last, whenever, last year. Anyway, so I think it's about time. As I'm clearing each section out, I think I'll clean the back bit. I just wash it with soapy water. It's not actually going on any of the beds, it's going behind the bed, so it's not like I'm putting soapy water on the beds. Anyway. What I want to do now is just show you, um, I'm going to be putting in some of these red cabbage in this bed that I've just cleared. Um, so I'm going to put probably three in this one. So I've got three here. So here's three, because um, they do get quite big, don't they? And then as I'm clearing out each bed, I will pop in some more red cabbage. And um, in another bed, I need to put the broccoli because uh, I've got four broccoli plants there that I need to put in um, and that'd be nearly enough the whole of the polyton I'm planting. Anyway, I just noticed that these are the evening primrose that I've done from seed that I took from my flowers in the garden. I've got two here. So what I'm going to do is, well not on camera, but I'll pot these on um, and hopefully they grow for next year. Um, yeah, they're a bit late actually. They're actually out now, even in primrose, but anyway, never mind. So, anyway, we're going to do this bed, so I'll have to move the camera so you can see me. Mission, sorry, you can't really see me, is to just plant these red cabbage in this bed. So, anyway, what I'm going to do is pop these red cabbage in this bed basically with some of this blood fish and bone meal, which I've actually put in a tub now. So what I'm going to do is just dig three little holes. Um, so we're going to put one here. So we're not going to add anything else into this soil. So soil. Oh dear. In the bucket. And we have a couple of handfuls per plant. sure that we protect them as much as we can otherwise the slugs will have a field day I think all their Christmases have come together so we're going to break these two well, these are much more moist um, take this monkey leaf off here and this one off here so this is take two for my leaves for my um, cabbage 
I was growing cabbage, as you saw in my previous videos, over the other side of the poly tunnel, quite unsuccessfully. Not very successful <laughs> at all. So we're just going to pop them in this side and with some added bone meal, blood fish and bone. So well, we'll see how this works. And then we're gonna we're gonna put in some I'm gonna go and get the bed in to put around it and also we're gonna put in the earth stuff around them as well so hopefully that should be enough for caution and I'm gonna spray the leaves as well with the castile soap that I just got from eating my plants I don't know what will <laughs> so we put three cabbage plants in here we've got room for other crops in between so we put in some salad crops I think some more salad crops um, but I'll do that another day I think the Castile soap is for bugs um, so what I've got is pure Castile soap in here there was about that much left in the bottom and I just added the rest with water and give it a good shake and I've put a sprayer on this bottle so luckily this is the original bottle and I've just adapted it so that's pretty cool in this bottle I've added some hemp oil um, and I've added just water and what I'm going to do is spray these with the hemp oil Hopefully this will stop, but this won't hurt the plant. I'll spray these rocks with these poor little basil. Well, we've just got to try these things and see if it works. Um, and we might just spray a bit of the Castile soap mixture as well. Why not? And see what happens. It won't hurt them anyway. Right, so that's that done, that was quick, and um, I'm just going to put the bedding down first, then I'm going to put the earth stuff around the top as well, and see if that helps. So hopefully all these things will help. So you can buy Castile soap online, um, and you can buy hemp oil. We can't get neem oil um, in, in here, I've looked it up because you're supposed to use neem oil but I looked up hemp oil as well and you can use that hi there again <laughs> so I went and got the bedding and checked up on the chickens so this is the old bedding there's some cardboard in this we won't be using that so I'm just going to put a little bit of this bedding around the cabbages that we've just put in we do all these deterrents to try and stop beetles because we've got some kind of weird beetles that come in and I know the earth stuff um, is good for them they don't like that so I will put some of that round as well and but I notice the slugs don't really like crawling on this um, bedding I've noticed because on my beds outside where they've got this stuff on they seem to be less damage they're still damaged but not as much so I've got to try and help these poor little plants to get away I've got some around these these little basil and see if they um, stop getting attacked I might as well try and these are going to be left in here all winter the basil will definitely die off but the the brassicas won't. Right, so there we are. I've got feathers in and everything because all the chickens are molting at the moment. And I think one of them has just gone into nesting mode because she's gone really weird since yesterday. And I thought she was ill, but I think she's actually gone into weird nesting mode, which is odd for this time of year. 
but they are only children like babies and that's very odd anyway i was hoping she seems to be all right they go off really strange they just stop moving that's what i've done so in this bed i've just put in three red cabbage and i've put a hand two handfuls of blood fish and bone in with each cabbage i've put uh sprayed them with neem oil and water and i've sprayed them with castile soap and water and i've also done the basil and i've just put round the bedding so now all i've got to do next is put round the diagnosis first i think that's how you pronounce it anyway let me get it ah that's the point right i don't know it's just got wet but I'm still going to use it but what I need to do first is water them because that's what I didn't do before let's just water those right so this bed is basically done for now um, I'll probably put some more seeds in the front um, some rocket or something um, just keep it going hold on I'm going to get some water in Oh yes, I've just noticed on my, I've got uh, some Brussels sprouts in that bed at the front, or broccoli, I can't remember which. Anyway, we're just going to water these in, so we're trying not to get the water on the leaves, because we've just put all that stuff on them. But the oil, hopefully, will stop the pest. Oh, I really hope so. <laughs> oh dear, dear, dear. We'll do anything to try and stop the pest. Because we do get pests in here, I'm afraid we do get them in the polytunnel. Right, so this is our little experiment for this week. Let's see if this works. So I've just got the stuff stuck here, it is a bit damp, but I'll have to do. I'm just going to sprinkle some around each of the plants and I'm going to put it around here. Hopefully all these deterrents will stop whatever it is that's eating the plants in here. So we'll see how it goes. I'm not putting any plastic around these ones because on my two uh, red cabbage over the other side it didn't seem to help so I'm not doing that. Right, that's it. So we've done that. Let me turn the camera so you can see me. So we're just going to check out the brassicas over the other side. We're going to take the brassicas out of that bed and we're going to do like a, a deterrent for the brassicas that I've already put in. And these, I think they're Brussels, oh they're cauliflowers. Are they? Oh, I'm not sure what these were, <laughs> what I planted down here. I'm not sure if they have cauliflowers or not. Am I looking in the right bit? <laughs> I'm not sure, I think there might be cauliflowers down this bit, so I'm going to do the same thing to them. Okay, here we go. Oh, I'm doing this in loads of bits today. So anyway, I just need to move the, uh, the thing that I put the camera on, oh. which is what you're supposed to use indoors actually. But I've got all these pole, poles, so it's really handy. It's, see this little gadget, and you just clip it, and then it's got this bit that you put the camera on it's got a light and you can plug it into a laptop or in a charger so you can work the light it's really good but um i've got it outside in my poly tunnel which is quite handy and i've also brought my um stand out which isn't much good that's for my camera really but all i could do is just put it on these poles these poles everywhere so i just put it on the poles where i'm working and then you can see what i'm doing it's quite handy isn't it so, right in this bed, I see we've got a couple of tomato plants that we need. we're going to just get out. We'll do that. We've got to really be careful with the melon. I don't want to disturb that. I might tie a piece of string onto the actual, you know, the, 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 the shoot that's actually got the melon on it and do it really gently and then tie it to the pole at the top. And I'll just go, well, I'm not going near that bag, actually. Um, and we're just going to pull out the brassicas at the front 
um, yeah and take well the tomato plant isn't actually it's just on the bed it's not actually planted in here and we're just going to do the same treatment with the two cabbage plants that I've got here uh, what I did over there so we're going to do the same treatment here and we're just going to um, tidy up the soil a bit ready to plant something in there but oh I've got one more cabbage plant I've just spotted over there on the table so I'll put that in here and then there'll be three cabbage plants in this bed as well so we'll have three cab red cabbage in here we've got four in that bed and three in the other bed so that's quite a lot of red cabbage and these ones I'm going to take indoors and I'm going to turn into coleslaw but I definitely don't think the heads are going to get any bigger on these cabbages here so I'll just crack on with it and I'll show you once I've done it okay Thank you. So I'm just going to show you what I just did in the corner here where the red cabbage were. So I'm not going to plant any more red cabbage in this bed today. Um, I'm just going to leave it because I need to sort out the beds outside because I just need to put some bedding around each one of the plants outside and give them a spray because I noticed they're starting to get a bit nibbled some of them so I need to rectify that but in here I actually um, just put a piece of string on the melons that are growing and I've cut off any excess melons so there's a melon on one plant and a melon on the other um, I don't know if they're going to grow very much and also I've put some mulch round some blood fish and bone and then some mulch around the top of the plants which I just need to water in a little bit um, and I've just tidied up this bed basically it's quite wet at the moment so I won't put anything else in here and I've just taken out the tomato plants that were in pots actually and I've just put them outside for now um, and then tomorrow I'm going to take out all the tomato plants uh, that are done in here because uh, yeah, so it's looking tidier. We'll see how it works with the neem oil. With the, well, it's not neem oil, it's hemp oil and the um, Castile soap and see if it repels the anything, anything, anything. Just repels something. Anyway, 
and I've put the mulch around these two red cabbages. I just need to go and get some more mulch to put around the lettuces that I put in this morning um, to give them a fighting chance to not be eaten tonight because uh, that's when the slugs come out. I might nip out in the night and just see if anything is getting eaten in. Um, and also I need to put in a couple of um, beer beer um, beer traps so I was going to put one in there with the red cabbage that I just planted with the cauliflower I think it is at the front um, I think it's cauliflower and put another one in this bed and then top up some of the beds outside what's that bird? can you hear that? and we've had a tiny little wren two days in a row fly into the outside um, one of the beds that's covered up you know with the Sweden turnip Sweden beetroot in and uh, yeah anyway I, I think that'd be enough for today so I'll show you tomorrow what I did like what I'm just about to do in a minute because I don't want to make the video too long I keep making them too long anyway so I'll just say goodbye so please give me a like and a thumbs up if you like my videos and if you have any information for me please leave a comment below and I will, um, I will take any advice from anyone if, it, if it's good advice and I haven't tried it already. So if you know a way of deterring slugs oh, without using chemicals, I'm not, um, I'm not into using sort of like mainstream chemicals. Anything that's like, you know, what I'm trying today with the oil and the, um, and the mulch and the Castile soap and what have you anything i've tried eggshells and i've your i'm doing beer traps i'm trying anything because the slugs do get in the polytunnel as well as little beetle things which i know that the um the earth stuff oh that's what i need to do go and get the earth stuff to put around the lettuces here as well to stop the slugs uh well beetles and hard hard skinned um creatures apparently that's what that gets rid of um and i seem to think that the the actual straw hay seems to work on the um, slugs as long as it's not wet really um, if it's sort of dry they don't tend to like crawling over it so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna cover up these ones anyway thank you for watching and I hope I can give you some knowledge hope you enjoy watching my videos because you know I'm brand new at this stuff and I'm learning on my feet here everything I do is a new project I just noticed I left brassicas outside yeah, I'm a bit slaughtered. Hmm. Yeah, so I should say. I'm a bit slaughtered. This little bird is sitting on a tree right next to me. Anyway, look what I did here. So I'm going to try and save a couple of them and just put them in the polytunnel. Anyway, I'll do that tomorrow. I'm not doing any more. I'm just going to go and get the mouse and just finish doing this bed. Hello bird! I think it's a robin. Robins love being around you. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. Today's the 11th of October. I don't know if I said that at the beginning of the mo movie, at the beginning of the video. But anyway, I'm saying it now just in case I didn't. And I'll show you what I'm going to get up to tomorrow, okay? See you. Bye for now. Bye.